Hello again, ShaneMossetter.com, talking about my second child. Um, Jessica was about three years old when Jeff was born, and uh, the hail bop comet was in the sky in 1997, I'm pretty sure, and it was, well, we ended up staying up all night. It was it was midnight or one or two or something and uh, Bobby said she's you know having contractions and stuff and and I had you know I've been a dad for three years by this time and been through one actual birth of a child um, so I actually had some experience with birth of a child prior to that my only experience of birth was you know cows and dogs and and uh, or you know stuff like that whatever so anyways, um, I went and ran her a super hot bath. If you if your if your wife is says she's starting to have contractions, you want to help get her in the hottest bath that she can stand. It, it, you know, don't force her. If she's interested, you can help her, whatever. Blah. You know, the fact of the matter is you ain't gonna do nothing right um, because you're just the guy that caused this in the first place. <laughs> Which is fine. Um, good job. And then, uh, then I took her out for a walk, and we lived in the south side of Billings, Montana, and we were walking around at, you know, three or four in the morning. It was barely daylight in, in March. It was four or five. No, it was, it was, it was still pretty dark, but anyways, I walked her around a couple of blocks there, and I remember this guy came driving up. He pulls up to stops. I knew you could tell he'd been out partying all night, and he was like, hey, man, you need a ride? <laughs> no thanks. We're we're good. Oh come on, just get in, man. We'll give you a ride wherever you're going. And I was like, <laughs> dude, no matter what the situation is, I'm not putting my pregnant wife in your Monte Carlo. Now move along. <laughs> so anyways, uh, you know, we finally ended up going to the hospital at like six in the morning because the contractions were, you know, when she, when she was in the hot bath, they were getting faster and closer and more intense and when we were walking it was faster and closer and more intense as soon as she'd relax they would relax so anyways um we went to the hospital at you know six or seven in the morning and uh my son was born at about seven in the morning the way i remember it and i had a ton of friends show up and and jessica was ecstatic about that little guy being there she was like uh, the nurses tried to take Jeff and go over to you know clean him up or do whatever they're doing and she was she like grabs this the cart she's like he doesn't want to go with you <laughs> and uh, and still to this day she's 19 and he's 15 and she still thinks that she's the mom of this <laughs> beautiful boy and uh, I don't blame her for being crazy about him, but um, anyways, that was the beginning of that. And, you know, maybe three minutes isn't enough time for a video, but I'm stopping.